these are things that we you know mainly know but there will be an update on you know the timing so it might give us an indication on when we can expect to have a short squeeze or a potential you know price significant price change into what we currently saw so before getting into it guys let's look at a chart here on what happened actually today on amc Close at 8.93, down to um, 72%, which is not to me bad because yesterday we had a very great day when we closed at um, 50, almost 17%. So that was a great start of the day. We can see that, you know, after hours it's already up. Uh, it's even not up. I would call it flat. You know, but the the drop of today, you know, you can see that it's 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 bare. I mean, it's you, you really flat. I mean, um, it's it's really flat. We had that, you know, sudden dip here, um, but this will be considered to me um, um, a short attack. I mean, not really a short attack, but you know, I would consider the trading session of today flat, given what the overall market you know traded as. Uh, as you can see here, you know, Dow Jones ending up almost flat. Even though you know we were 0.46 percent in the red session, S and P almost one percent down, Nasdaq almost two percent down. So yeah, um, a stock is not considered to continuously go up, guys. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, um, everyone will just be rich in the stock market. So it's not the case, you know. So to me, it's actually a good sign that we are consolidating around the nine dollars mark here for today, you know. So tomorrow. Uh, we can hope that the market will bounce from, you know, the, 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 the red day today because usually when you have a very special green day like we had on Monday, you know, after that, some, usually people will take profits, you know, and you can expect to have a down day. And whether we have a down day, you know, people will buy back again, buy into the market because they have some prices at discount, you know. So tomorrow, if tomorrow we have a green day, then we can potentially expect AMC to also move you know according to the the market if there is no you know buying additional buying i mean additional selling pressure into into the market for amc so let's get into the first thing i want to share with you guys on the market mover first of all you know of the earnings you know earnings were supposed to be initially on february 25th i made a video on that where i was you know explaining and sharing how it's going to potentially be impacting the price forecast for amc if you haven't watched that, guys, I'll put it somewhere here, somewhere here. Please go ahead and, and watch it. Now, it's been so initially it was supposed to be February 25th, and then it be, it's been pushed to March 2nd after the market. So it was supposed to be today. It didn't happen, but this morning we had um, you know this news coming from AMC Entertainment Holdings saying finally they will be releasing the earnings on Wednesday, March 10 at 4 p.m. Central Time. So after the market closed. So we'll see. How this goes is being pushed a um, um, couple of days, but as I mentioned in that video where I was talking about the earnings, this will be really. We already know that the 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 the, the results are you know huge loss because the markets, I mean the theaters were down, theaters were closed, nobody was going to theater, so there was no revenue for AMC. Now, what will be interesting to see in this earnings call, in this earnings release from AMC, will be the guidance. What we call the guidance is actually what we are expecting the company to do or to take as actions, you know, as especially the, the, the first or the second quarter of this new 2021 year in order to make the, 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 the company profitable again, in order to see revenues flowing back into the company. You know, we already know that they were able to, you know, um, get some deals and raise some cash um, um, in order to remove all the bankruptcy rumors from the table. But now they need to prove that they are able to keep revenue coming in in order to be sustainable and to actually pay off the debt to be more profitable for the for the investors as we move forward. So that will be something that we'll be definitely looking into. Now, this can potentially be one since AMC is the, 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 the biggest theater, movie theater operator all across the world, you know, in, in the US, in Europe, and the most in terms of screens. So um, if the earnings, if the, if the loss we are expecting and if the guidance that I just, you know, explained are really more than the market is expecting, this can potentially push the price, you know, upper. Now, if it's not the case, then I don't know exactly uh, we can we can expect uh, a dip, but I don't think the dip will be that consistent because 
the loss is already priced into you know so people are already expecting that there will be a, a huge loss so um, I don't see how you know deeper the, the the dip will be if the loss is much more consistent because as I mentioned earlier AMC theaters were just closed you know all across the country and the world now the second thing that can potentially push the price in one way or another you know is this new information around when the Senate will be voting or signing of the COVID-19 relief you know the stimulus package deal so we know that you know that they, they were the uh, um the democrats have now you know sent the bill to the senate to the congress i mean and then the congress now i mean not senate, the senate <laughs> and now they have to vote and here you can see that you know they're supposed to democrats want to get the final bit signed into law by march 14. you know so march 14 is what two weeks yeah two weeks from now so um we'll see how this goes if actually you know march 14 ends up being the date where this will be signed then it means we have a deal and we have a deal it means stimulus checks will be sent out will, will start to be you know flowing into people's bank accounts no later than the end of march and since people are waiting on money to come in you know if everything goes well with this bill then they will either spend the money on things that they haven't been able to do um, with the lockdowns or they will get this money invested into the market especially for those who are new to the stock market and are now getting eager to get more and more involved into the stock market so they will either buy more AMC shares or you know or they will um, invest in other stocks so the stock market will go up but this is something that will end up being good for AMC either whether people will spend it directly into theaters especially if we have vaccines at that time more and more people will be vaccinated with Johnson & Johnson so that will be a double good news for AMC stock and then obviously it will drive the price you know upper and upper so the, the third thing actually in link to what we just shared is the fact that Texas announced today that they were lifting the mask requirement allowing all the business to fully reopen you know and they now leave the business to really decide whether or not you will need to wear a mask if you want to be served at that specific business but as far as you know governor greg about his concern as the state of texas is concerned you know um you can reopen your business 100 percent you know like restaurants like movie theaters you can reopen now and you don't need to wear a mask so i think this might be a potential move uh, uh, market mover or a thing that will drive the price of AMC stock on other retail stocks, you know, up, especially in Texas. Now, if other states are also considering doing the same move, I think we can potentially see, you know, a jump into the retail sector, like, you know, stock like AMC, you know, retail stores and everything, malls and everything. So it may also be divisive because a lot of people I saw on Reddit for this month, uh, this afternoon when the, the news was released, a lot of people were against, you know, and kind of frustrated and angry with Governor Abbott with, you know, this this news because as as the numbers of COVID are getting down, as we are, you know, getting some hopes up with the new vaccines coming, and um, he's now releasing this news, and people feel like we are not out of the. The, the, the woods yet and this is something that it's too soon we can wait one or two months you know in order to have this kind of restriction lifted up so it may end up you know being something that will prevent people from actually going out because they will be afraid that they will either you know catch the covid because they're not vaccinated yet so this might be potentially a 50 50 depending on actually how you know people collectively um adopt or receive and you know and then translate this into what they're actually going to do you know going into these businesses that will be allowed to reopen 100 percent so it will be interesting to see how this can potentially impact the markets or the retail sector in texas or other states as we move forward so i think this is definitely these three things can definitely move the price of amc you know upper or even you know on a downtrend depending on it or how the you know the the the, the retail or how the market receives and you know um, 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 priced in those different news we can see here to finish that amc there's something weird that happened here you know around after hours so 6 p.m uh, we hit what um 
13 dollars and then went back up so we can see a spike here and then spike down again to continue the flat um at 891 so yeah it's it's weird you know and i was actually thinking about making a a, a video on what is happening actually happening after hours in pre-market for stocks like amc so if you are interested in me you know making that video give me a thumbs up and you know mark it in the comment section below and tomorrow we'll post that out for you guys so that's everything i have for you guys let me know what you think in the comment section about the three things that i shared and where you can potentially see the price of amc in the next week or you know at around march 14 or march 10 when we see the earnings being released all right thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one until then take care